everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another flea market video. Yeah, um, from, from this angle where I'm sitting here, I'm sitting at the um, floor, uh, you see that it's not such a high production video. I, I didn't want to put my um, like desk in front of me. But anyways, the most important stuff is what you're gonna see at the flea markets. Uh, this is all from one day. I went to four different free mar for, for, for flea markets that day. Actually, yesterday, um, Sunday. Today is Monday, and I want to film this uh, so I can get out the video and not wait another week. And so, yeah, let's start with uh, what I saw. So this is at my local flea market. This vendor is always there. But he has always the same toys, so but I've never filmed it before. Winnie the Pooh, some action figures. Uh, the usual stands. That one there with uh, all of the boxes sometimes has some toys in between. This time just some board games. Yeah, and stuff I'm not interested in. Woohoo, that's me! <laughs> A Barbie horse. Nah, not really my kind of thing. Yeah, Christmas stuff already, of course. Uh, this was kind of interesting, a lot of trolls. I'm not really into trolls, but seeing them so like together, it's so funny and colorful. Uh, this one in the back there is kind of interesting. It's a huge troll, you know, well, doll, you know, the soft uh, plush body. I I'm no expert. I don't know if these are more thought after or interesting, not to me, but nice to see, definitely. I can't believe it, I found a Polly Pocket. It's in really good shape. Nothing else here today, but oh my goodness! Ta da da da! I found Fairy Light Wonderland Polly Pocket at a flea market. I mean, I have it. It's not that it's a new Polly Pocket for me, um, but I couldn't leave it there because um, at first I was thinking like oh, I might include it in the giveaway, but actually I want to keep this one because this is in a little bit of a better condition from the outside than the one um, is that that I have um, basically mine is a little bit discolored around the edges and also overall a little bit this one is like really good I mean the logo um, not super uh, good but like all over it has the same color <laughs> so um, my idea is to put this one then on the Polly Pocket shelf and um, the one that I have for the longest time, which I won't give away because it was um, a present from my niece for birthday. She found it uh, in her, you know, in her toy room, but it's not from her and it's also not from my other niece. So no one knows where it comes from. So I would never give this one away. And also the other one works in terms of the light. So I want to put it in my bedroom to have a little bit of a night light. And this one is kind of not working from the inside. Um, from the light. I have tried it with batteries. I have tried to um, put this, uh, you know, uh, contact uh, spray on it. it. It's just not working, but still I want to show you how beautiful this is. So Fairy Light Wonderland is from the Fairy Collection uh, from 1993. Uh, so 1993 Polly Pocket, vintage Polly Pocket obviously. Um, all these cutouts here would actually light up super beautifully. As you can see here, these beautiful, um, you know, fairies already. And it's actually a little bit like, like, like a fairy land amusement park or something, because here we have something like um, a fairy's wheel. Uh, then we have this hot air balloon that, uh, you know, when you turn this wheel, it goes up. And we have this 
stage here where the fairies can perform something and all over it's so beautifully decorated with flowers and like clouds and uh, yes. it's, it's, it's not glittery but uh, the balloon itself is glittery so some of the plastic is and um, the lower part here uh, we have this dance platform polys there then this one I actually don't know what it actually is it lights up but you can't like move it or something it's like more like a fountain or something um, then here and here are compartments and I will open it up to you because there are polys inside and um, yeah then here's a vanity I think uh, beautiful see-through doors that can open up This one looks like a table where they can sit and have a meal. Uh, also here, there are stairs everywhere. Here's actually a battery compartment. And it would light up if uh, when you open it, which I don't know if I can get it to light up because I tried everything. Uh, let's get to the polys that uh, are in here. Yeah. Um, it's it's not not that it, I have it complete now, um, but there's one one poly that belongs into it, so you can still see a little bit of fabric left at the back. She used to have wings, so fabric wings, and she is one of the fairies, obviously. Um, I already have Pixie, which also belongs into uh, this compact. Uh, she was in my other one, so I have now two figurines of this Fairy Light Wonderland compact. Uh, what else was in there? A horse. Uh, this horse, um, I think it belongs into the stable on the go. Uh, not exactly sure. Then here we have Tiny Tina and uh, in this uh, purple long uh, maxi dress. She belongs into the, you know, the purple big wedding heart, the wonderful wedding party. And she's the only figurine that was missing from me in this uh, uh, compact. So, wow, now I have a wonderful wedding party, uh, all the four figurines. For some reason, she came in my new Fairy Light Wonderland. And then we have these two, which are a little bit of a mystery uh, to me um, because when I go to uh, the website that I, you know, that I use to uh, identify Polly Pocket stuff, onlypollypocket.com, then, to be honest, uh, doesn't really give me much uh, information on this one, uh, on these two, because it says that the one, you know, oops, that the one in the red, whatever it is, swimsuit, uh, it looks like a swimsuit and if she's wearing or she's holding glasses in her hand, but it's actually from a watch so from playset watch 1994 or from the fairy poly star watch and i don't know what they look like it seems they were produced not directly um, by bluebird or mattel some of the watches were also given like the rights to other companies and she came with one of the watches and also this one um It's a little bit strange because the website says that this one came in the 1994 Polly Pocket Fairy Tale Castle, which is not really a compact. It looks from the outside like a castle, but it's completely empty inside. It's just a case. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe there was something uh, because they kind of also belong into the fairy collection. So maybe there was something that you could get these together with the fairy light wonderland toys i don't know it's a little bit strange to have these that don't really belong into normal compacts and i always think that these watches and these special thing uh, special compacts were not really sold in germany but i don't know probably they were so yeah fairy light wonderland so here's a little comparison of um, the two uh, compacts. This is the one I just found at a flea market. This is one that I have for a couple of years now. 
Um, it always was like this. Um, you see that pretty discolored from the sides. Also the front a little bit, you know, just the back is still the best. And this one is discolored, not a single bit. So um, the logo on this one is still a bit, little bit better than on this one, uh, but you know, not, not by a lot. I rather prefer this one to have that on display, while this one will probably go in my bathroom because this one does light up. A beautiful Barbie uh, case. It's like I could have a date, 1967, oh, so it's from the 60s. Habe ich noch nicht geguckt. Guck ich gleich mal. Yeah. Some more fashion poly. Nee, tatsächlich nicht. Die ist immer schön, ne? Die kleine. Die kleine ist ja. es. Aber es ist noch quasi ein, zwei Jahrzehnte zu früh für, für ja. mich. Ich glaube ich. 80er, 90er, 90er Jahre ist eher so mein. But it's Winnie Pooh. Wow. And it even comes with figurines. Okay, this is just a Philly castle and some glitter. But they have a lot of things here. Ola, wir stellen es. Ich lasse es einfach mal. Ich lasse es einfach mal hier stehen und ja. Sie passen auf, dass es keiner kauft. Das ja, nehme ich mit. <lacht> okay, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, that's like the modern Polly Pocket. No, I have a couple of them. Yeah. Ah, die ist noch zu klein. Ja, ja. I have both of them. What have we here? Is this a real one? I think this is a knockoff. Yeah, it's too light to be a real one. And you can definitely see that by the eyes that this is like a knockoff turtle. <laughs> it's funny. These are like newer ones, I think from the, uh, I don't know, 2000s. Cool. We're here. Ah, I can't see. This one has, I don't know who this is, it's not Commander Cody, but... Whoa. 
giant reveal. <laughs> More Polly Pocket! <laughs> um, when I first saw this there, you, you, you saw it, I wasn't even recognizing that it is Polly Pocket because it was standing next to a Philly castle and some fakey ponies. Um, but it, it is... You see it there? Bluebird 1998. Uh, so this is original vintage Bluebird, not directly Polly Pocket because it's actually one of the Disney sets. It's the um, 1998 Winnie the Pooh 100 Acre Wood set. And it comes even with some of the figurines, guys. Um, Price-wise, well, this, uh, I mean, Polly Pockets. The people who are selling it at flea markets kind of know that it's not like super duper cheap. I mean, I've never, I mean, very rarely found Polly Pocket that was super cheap at flea markets, you know? So she wanted for the Fairy Light Wonderland, the seller wanted 15. I was like, uh huh, what about 10? Um, we met at 12, which is still way less than what you pay online. Uh, this seller here, I know this a couple, um, and um, they, um, you can a little bit drop the price, but not completely, because they're not just like private sellers. They are a little bit of a, of a you know, of resellers, you could say. Um, but they had a price of, I think, also 15 on it, or no, 12, 15, because I bundled the other uh, toys as well and then and then I got it for 15 together with the two uh, Star Wars figurines that I also got together for 15 so um, but anyway let's get to this because this is so much to to discover in this um, playset uh, <laughs> at first these slide open Ta-da! and reveal even more space to play and Overall, it's these three, you know, three houses, you could say, uh, from Winnie the Pooh. This one is definitely uh, Winnie uh, the Pooh is, <laughs> uh, a house because it says here Sanders and it has this, you know, the, the bee wax, I don't know what it's called at the back. Um, this one you can also open up even further like this. And then you can open it up here. Here's the only part that's missing because this there used to be like also a bed sheet that you could open up. There's so much to discover here. I mean, look at all of these details. This is like, like wow. Um, and then obviously this one also opens. Oh, there's like a teeter-totter in here. Um, is there also a moving element right here? No, but there's so many spaces uh, for the dolls to stand. Uh, in here, uh, the next, you know, tree house in front here. This can be moved by this pack at the, at the back here. When I, um, oh, it's always a little bit stuck, but it works, yeah. can put a figurine in there and then it would slide back and forth. Um, it opens up like this. It's a little house here with you know, a bed, a chair, but it also opens up like this. And there's even more and I think this is the funniest thing. You can put all of the figurines here and they celebrate. It looks like a birthday party in here as if, I don't know, one of the characters uh, it's, it's birthday. And the funny thing is that this one moves and I think this is like the honey pot inside and probably you could put one of the figurines in there and then it would uh, jump out. Not all of the figurines are in there. Probably Winnie the Pooh would make most sense, but let's put Piglet in there. And when you put someone here, uh, 
moves. <laughs> Poor piglet <laughs> would jump out there. All the colors are really like strong, bold colors. So not the typical like early Polly Pocket colors, but all of the Disney sets are, are mainly like this. Um, yeah, and here is another house. And there's also, you know, this river. Um, here under the river, uh, actually, no, it looks like uh, some wood that can move under the bridge. Maybe you could put one of the figurines on there. I don't know how that's meant to be. Um, there's also a tree. You could put one of the figurines on there. And this one also opens up. I think this is Piglet's house, isn't it? And there's still so much stuff to move. And this can go down. And here's another one of these platforms where two, you could put two figurines and then you can move this from the back with another one of these packs here. This is such a fun set. Oh man, you can also open up this, um, Apartment here, like is is ginormous. I uh, I'm not that uh, knowledgeable with the um, Disney sets. This is the last year that the Disney sets were uh, released, so in '98. Um, I know that some of the Disney sets are very uh, expensive. I think this one's actually not. I've seen it uh, go online. For for uh, if it's complete for around maybe 50 to 100 um, but if it's not complete and just some of the figurines are in there or even no figurines then you can get it even online for 10 euros so uh, I think it's not one of the most popular sets but so much fun let's um, show you all of the figurines that came with my set so you've already seen Piglet <laughs> then we have Tigger and the cool uh, thing with the bigger ones. So Piglet does not uh, bend, but uh, Tigger, for example, has one of those uh, moving, you know, waistlines. So you could also sit down, you could say. Then we have ooh, Owl. So this is Owl. This is a really detailed figure. Like, look how detailed this super tiny figurine is. And it also has a hinge, so it can also like, sit down and bend and then uh, I have this little basket here and it really looks as if it belongs in there but the strange thing is that only Polly Pocket um, the website has not listed this one and also they have not much information about the set in general because uh, the owner of the website says she doesn't have the set so she can't give detailed information she just got pictures of it and um, it actually is supposed to come with nine figurines so like all of them you know Winnie the Pooh and these three and also Eeyore, uh, Kanga and Roo and Rabbit I think and a honey pot, a very small one, but this is not listed. I mean, maybe it does not belong into it, but it looks like it definitely could. Yeah, it was a good day for Polly Pocket, but also a good day for Star Wars, which I haven't found uh, the last uh, couple of like flea market hunts that I did. Uh, from this vendor, I picked up these two uh, clone troopers. Uh, this one is uh, definitely one of the uh, Clone Wars figurines, so I really like them. You can like this helmet doesn't even belong to him. Uh, they have this typical animated uh, Clone Wars look. I love this. This is actually heavy. So it's uh, it's a clone trooper from like, this is still his um, you know this training armor. There is there are a couple of episodes that focus on his squad, like the Domino squad. They are still trained and then they become art troopers. Some of them. It's really interesting. This is heavy. Um, this helmet actually does not belong to it. It's actually a Jedi training helmet. You know, a uh, little. Uh, not even Padawans, but little um, younglings would put this on and then would do, you know, lightsaber training. 
it's actually it must be from episode two figurine uh, i don't know why they put it with with heavy but <laughs> Yeah, let's keep it on him. It looks funny. <laughs> this is um, this is Commander Cody. So one of the like one of the well-known uh, clone trooper commanders. Um, yeah, episode three, and of course he also appears a lot in the Clone Wars. So this figurine is from 2013. No, this is from 13. This is from 2010. So they are still like, newer figurines, but this is meant to be an episode three figurine. Um, yeah, obviously they don't come with their real like weaponry, like heavy would have really heavy, like that's why he's called like this, he likes to, to you know, blow up things with really huge uh, weapons etc, so that's not really, but, and also this is not a real uh, clone trooper weapon, but anyways, uh, still happy to have those, as I said I bundled them together with this um, house here, this Winnie, Winnie the Pooh house and then it was like I think together 15 so uh, originally they wanted five five euro per figurine and ten for this this is what, what, what they wanted yeah and I mean yeah basically five euro off if you're a little bit like uh, wondering why I'm actually collecting Star Wars it doesn't really match my aesthetic of course not but I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I also um, like collect Star Wars uh, toys especially the smaller three and three quarter inch ones um, yeah from basically every like Star Wars movie that there is and all the TV shows etc yeah and then I went to uh, the flea market that was at um, you know Boxagnagplatz Boxy which I had really good luck this time not really, so the lady that uh, has always the box for ponies was still, was again was there. I didn't even bother filming because it were just the same fakies again, so I was like, nah. And really, I did not find any toys there. Yay, a box full of cassette tapes. I'm kind of into it right now. Um, and I was so happy to find these Barbie ones. Uh, yeah, I already paid, so don't. <laughs> Don't be surprised why I immediately put them in the backpack. Uh, but then I uh, looked a little bit further and I also found this turtles one and um, some other interesting ones like ducktails. Like all my time actually, like you know, early 90s, all oh, land before time. I love that movie. Um, yeah, some Disney ones, Ariel, a Little Mermaid. But I won't get like these like miscellaneous ones. I want to keep uh, with with the um, series that I started now, like Daddy Lovely Locks, Pony, um, Barbie, Rainbow Bride, etc. Ich weiß nicht, ich nehme die Turtles auch noch mit. Ja, mach. Was willst du noch dafür haben? 50 Cent. 50 Cent But I found cassette tapes. I don't know what it is, but it's actually something that I really enjoy. Look through. Um, uh, when they are like you know children's cassette tapes if there are some from um toy lines that i also collect well i don't collect barbie but uh, i don't collect a lot of ninja turtles but uh, basically i own one of of, of these barbie uh, cassettes and uh, i listen to it and it's pretty nice <laughs> i kind of like it um and i also like the cover art uh, although I'm not collecting Barbies directly, I'm more collecting your Barbie adjacent stuff, some some of it. Uh, I grew up with Barbie totally, but I'm not really collecting it. I didn't know these when I was little, but um, yeah, they're all from 1987, so one year before I was born. It's the first, um, uh, you know, episode, um, episode 9 and 12, sadly, this one's missing. Uh, the other ones are in there, so it's audio cassette tapes that have little stories, and it's 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 really nice. It reminds me really uh, of of um, you know of, of audio cassettes that I was listening when I was little, like Wendy and stuff like that. It's it's, it's really nice uh, voice actors doing like little stories, what Barbie like lives, uh, like you know her life with Ken and her her sister Skipper, and it, it's 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 really nice. This time I picked up the turtles one. Uh, I don't know. 
Um, I kind of like the turtles. I didn't grow up like watching them or anything. Um, I have a couple of toys now, but I'm really curious to, to listen to this audio cassette. Um, and I like, of course, the cover art. And if I like don't like it anymore, there are probably a lot of turtles collectors out there who would enjoy it. Um, yeah, this one's from 1990. Whoa, a bunch of action figures um, at the flea market that I actually never find anything. Uh, this was interesting. This is um, a battle troll, as far as I can remember. That's what they are called, like troll dolls, but made for, you know, boys. <laughs> uh, they were made by Hasbro in the early 90s, so 1992 or something uh, was under his feet. This was a real one. This as well. I sometimes confuse them with stone protectors, but they look a little bit different. Um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff like this was, I think, um, X-Men, Toy Biz, then some turtles, I think a little bit newer ones, uh, some knockoffs, this was again one of the really lightweight ones, uh, some He-Man knockoffs, um, what was that, uh, ah, Green Goblin, so, like Marvel stuff. This looked a little bit like a stone protector, but it's like basically a troll on a he-man kind of body. I think that was something, um, um, uh, blah, yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's also a lot of wrestling in between, which I have like no clue of really. Yeah, that's one of the he-man knockoffs. Star Trek, like a, a whole lot of things and also you know some some cassette tapes but nothing interesting for me but star wars yeah and at the flea market that actually is I, I always call it like the hipster flea market of berlin because it's mainly you know hipsters selling their vintage clothes etc which is nice to look through but i mainly don't buy clothes at flea markets because i'm out for toys there and um yeah this time there was one vendor you saw it with lots of um like action figures some of them vintage some of them a little bit newer and two of them star wars <laughs> so it was a good day for Polly pocket and a good day for star wars um yeah another clone trooper so really nice uh, because clone troopers always make sense you know i can build up a clone army and uh this is a jedi uh, he is a really a uh, super like side character, but I actually immediately recognized who that is. Episode three, um, he is like one of the Padawans who is uh, trying to you know defeat themselves when uh, Order sixty six happens and uh, the clones are um, you know attacking the temple, and he is trying also to to protect a Bail Organa and is dying. They are his name is Set Chukasa, uh, and in the movie is actually played by George Lucas's son, <laughs> uh, Jet. So yeah, nice figurine to have. I wish he had his lightsaber, but yeah, you know, I will find a lightsaber for him uh, because I'm like my main Star Wars collection in these three and three quarter inch ones started out as uh, Jedi uh, from the prequels, and then I have branched out into you know Clone Wars, and now I actually collect all of the you know, eras of Star Wars, but uh, adding another Jedi or Padawan in this case is amazing. And yeah, another clone trooper. This one is like, this figurine is amazing. Uh, this is from 2004, so one year before episode three was released, so it probably was released in, in 2005. Um, super detailed, like all of the joints, like really good, like weathering. And I mean, this is Commander Bly. Uh, he is one of the clone trooper commanders um, that's, you know, famous for killing his Jedi when Order 66 happened. So he used to belong to the uh, unit of um, Isla Secura. So Commander Bly even can put his visor down. So amazing figurine, really. Love that one. I love the clones. I love the Clone Wars. Of the prequels, so that's my favorite era of Star Wars. And I'm happy to add another clone trooper, Commander Bly. It, that's that's why I didn't want to put like out like my huge table for this little hall because it's a small hall. 
um, but I actually found really good stuff, like at least for me. Uh, I wish there would have been a pony in that haul, but no. Um, and I wanted to put this in one video and not wait for more stuff to put in a big video together because I think next weekend I want to head out to a more flea markets and there's this really big one happening again that I can reach my bike so probably um, that's another video so thank you for watching um, yeah if you like that kind of video give it a thumbs up comment if uh, my comments are open <laughs> if you want to uh, yeah thank you for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye